Friedrich Nietzsche wasn't your typical philosopher, and his ideas weren't meant for the faint-hearted. His philosophy is tough love, direct, often uncomfortable, but also deeply liberating. Nietzsche's teachings revolve around the empowerment of the individual, rejecting the idea of being passive in life and instead urging us to rise to the occasion and take control of our destiny. At a glance, his writings may seem harsh, even a bit cynical, but at their core, they're about embracing life fully, in all its chaos and unpredictability. Nietzsche challenges us to take a hard look at ourselves, to be bold enough to break away from the herd, and to live life on our terms. Let's unpack some of his key life lessons and explore what they mean for us today. 1. Embrace the will to power. One of Nietzsche's most famous concepts is the will to power. It's not about dominating others or being tyrannical, though that's a common misunderstanding, but rather about striving for mastery, mastery over oneself, over life's challenges, and over our own limitations. It's about pushing through, finding inner strength, and creating our own path rather than waiting for life to happen. In our world, this means taking the reins. It's easy to slip into autopilot, to do what's expected, follow the norms, and live a life that's already mapped out for us by society. Nietzsche says, don't. The will to power is about harnessing the energy within us to shape our lives according to our desires, not anyone else's. It's not easy. It requires resilience, self-awareness, and a readiness to face failure. But every time we overcome an obstacle, no matter how small, we're exercising our will to power. Every time we take a risk for something we believe in, every time we choose growth over comfort, we're living in the spirit Nietzsche urged us to. 2. Live authentically, become who you are. We hear it all the time, be yourself. But how many of us really take this advice to heart? How often do we actually live by our own standards rather than those set by others? Nietzsche believed that to live authentically, we need to dive deep into who we really are, not who we think we should be. He encouraged us to become who we are. It's not just about being true to yourself, it's about becoming your true self. This implies a journey, a process of discovery, of shedding layers of conditioning, of looking inwards to understand what we really value, what really moves us. In our daily lives, this could mean questioning the decisions we've made or the path we're on. Are we living according to our own values, or are we simply conforming? Do we take time to listen to our own voice, or are we drowned out by the noise of expectations, tradition, and peer pressure? Nietzsche's lesson is simple yet profound, life is too short to live someone else's version of it. Find what drives you and pursue it with everything you've got. 3. Suffering is the path to growth. This is one of Nietzsche's more challenging ideas, the concept that suffering is not just an unfortunate part of life, but a necessary one. Nietzsche argues that through suffering, we become stronger, wiser, and more resilient. Pain is inevitable, but what matters is how we respond to it. Think about a time when you faced a hardship that seemed unbearable at the moment. Maybe it was a breakup, the loss of a job, or a personal failure. In those moments, it's easy to give in to despair, to feel as if the world is against you. But Nietzsche would say that it's precisely through these experiences that we grow. Pain shapes us, challenges us, and forces us to confront our limitations. Nietzsche believed that life isn't about avoiding suffering, it's about facing it head-on, learning from it, and coming out the other side stronger. In his view, those who avoid discomfort or who seek to make life as easy as possible miss out on the richness and depth that struggle can bring. In practical terms, this doesn't mean you should go looking for pain, but rather that when life throws hardships your way, see them as opportunities for growth. It's a shift in mindset, from seeing suffering as something to be feared to something that can propel you forward. 
4. Eternal Recurrence, Live as if you'd relive every moment forever. Here's an intriguing thought experiment, what if you had to live your life over and over again, exactly as it is, for eternity? Every joy, every mistake, every regret, everything would repeat, endlessly. Nietzsche called this concept the eternal recurrence, and he used it to challenge us to think about how we live our lives. The idea is simple, would you be okay with living the exact same life on a loop, forever? If not, what would you change? How would you live differently if every moment mattered infinitely? This isn't meant to be taken literally, but it's a powerful tool for self-reflection. It asks us to live with intention, to make choices that we can stand by. Life is too short for regrets, Nietzsche would say. If you wouldn't be happy living a certain way forever, maybe it's time to rethink how you're living now. It's a reminder to be present, to value the now, and to make sure that the life we're living is truly our own. 5. Transcend Traditional Morality, Beyond Good and Evil Nietzsche had a bone to pick with conventional morality. He believed that concepts like good and evil were constructs, way society tries to control individuals and keep them in line. He wasn't saying that all morality is bad, but that we should critically examine the values we've been handed and decide for ourselves what is right and wrong. Most of us grow up with certain ideas of what's good, being nice, following the rules, playing it safe. Nietzsche would ask, are these values serving you, or are they limiting you? Are you living a life that's moral by your own standards, or by someone else's? His call is for us to create our own values, to live beyond good and evil, in the sense that we're no longer bound by the morality imposed on us by religion, society, or tradition. It's about taking Seven, love your fate, a more fatty. One of Nietzsche's most life-affirming ideas is a more fatty, the love of fate. It's the idea that we should embrace everything that happens to us, the good and the bad, as necessary and valuable. Instead of wishing things were different, Nietzsche says, love everything that happens to you. This might seem counterintuitive at first. Why would we love the bad things that happen? But Nietzsche's point is that life is messy, unpredictable, and sometimes painful. Trying to fight against that reality only leads to frustration. When we accept life as it is, when we embrace all of it, the chaos, the beauty, the struggles, and the victories, we can find a deeper sense of peace. 
In practical terms, a more fatty means accepting the things you can't change and finding meaning in them. It's about learning from every experience and understanding that every moment, even the difficult ones, is part of your journey. 8. Avoid Resentment Resentiman. Nietzsche warned against falling into resentiment, a kind of deep-seated bitterness or envy that arises when we compare ourselves to others and feel wronged by their success or happiness. It's the feeling of blaming others for our own shortcomings, of holding onto grudges instead of moving forward. In today's world, with social media constantly showing us idealized versions of other people's lives, it's easy to fall into this trap. We see someone else's success and feel envious. We compare ourselves to others and feel inadequate. Nietzsche would say this is toxic, not for them, but for us. Holding on to Ressentiment only holds us back. His advice. Let go of comparisons. Focus on your own path. Instead of being envious of others, focus on how you can improve your own life. 9. Create, don't conform. Nietzsche had a deep respect for creativity. He saw it as one of the highest expressions of human life. To him, to create, whether it's art, ideas, or your own identity, is the ultimate act of freedom. It's about carving out something new and meaningful from the chaos of existence. The opposite of this, in Nietzsche's view, is conformity. It's when we settle for what's already been laid out for us, when we live by the rules and values of others instead of crafting our own. In your life, this might mean taking risks creatively, whether that's in your work, your hobbies, or your relationships. It's about being bold enough to try new things, to experiment, and to express yourself fully, without worrying about what others think. 10. Embrace the Dionysian Spirit Finally, Nietzsche believed that a full life requires embracing both order and chaos, reason and passion. He often used the figures of Apollo, representing order and reason, and Dionysus, representing chaos, passion, and creativity, to symbolize this balance. While society often pushes us to prioritize control and order, Nietzsche saw great value in the Dionysian spirit, letting go, embracing life's wildness, and experiencing it fully. In modern life, this could mean allowing yourself to be spontaneous, to follow your passions, and to enjoy life's pleasures without overthinking. It's about finding a balance between structure and freedom, between responsibility and joy. At its heart, Nietzsche's philosophy is a call to live deeply and fully, to face life's challenges head-on, and to be brave enough to create your own meaning. His ideas aren't easy, they demand a lot of us. But in embracing the will to power, living authentically, and finding strength in struggle, we can begin to live in a way that's truly our own. Life, according to Nietzsche, isn't about comfort, it's about growth, creation, and the constant pursuit of becoming who you really are.